about half past eleven. I just uh, put a podcast in online. This is my front, uh, back garden and I'm going to clean it up, uh, tidy it up a little bit today. I uh, just have, uh, unfortunately, a migraine, but I took a migraine tablet and hopefully it's uh, going away. I have to send some packages today and uh, do a little bit in the garden. That's what the, the planning is and drink coffee and tea with you later on. So I'll take you with me with my cleaning the garden. morning it is friday uh, yesterday it was 27 degrees and today it's i think it's 10 now or so it's raining and it's gray and cold so uh, i we have to stay in the house and knit a lot so yeah i have one had already had one cup of coffee this is my second normally i do two in the morning and then uh, we're going to knit for a while and uh, see you later because later on today I'm going to my nephew's birthday. He turned 13 so that's nice to do on this Friday. So hello I did a square, a pink square. It's a little bit dark here because it's raining in the Netherlands. It's uh, I love it that it's a rainy day so I uh, can uh, knit on my blanket without guilt free. <laughs> this one is a dark purple. I did this this one yesterday, maybe I have to stand by the light. And this one I did today. And then I thought I have uh, this lovely ball. This one um, Patricia um, made for me. She dyed it herself. And I think this one I don't have in my blanket yet, in this blanket. I did it in the last blanket. So that's what I want to do. I want to knit another square, drink coffee. My migraine is a little bit there still. It's not really, really, um, yeah, it's, it's in the, yeah, how, how do you say? It is there, but it's not too severe that I can't do anything. Um, yeah, and, and the, these are all mini skeins. I, this one I got from Linda from Wool Hobby. So these, oh, <laughs> these mini skeins are all all going to use in my blanket, my hand dyed blanket. These lovely skeins I got from a viewer, from Yolanda, and she bought it once in England. The, these are from James Make Things, the English dyer. So uh, she gifted this to me because she said I don't, yeah, I don't use these. Uh, colors anymore. I don't know if this was uh, the same, but there were, yeah, the this one belongs to it, and this one. So, uh, this one is, uh, I don't know for sure. That's super nice. So, I have a lot of 10 gram minis, of 20 gram minis for my blankets. This lovely ball, I have already two, year, two years in my stash. This is a sock yarn cotton sock yarn with polyester and yeah this is more like summer uh, sock yarn so maybe i will cast these on one of these days this is my uh, lovely bag from birdie and puppet in this bag are all the mini skeins from last advent i want to knit a habitation throw from it and i think i'm going to start in july I love to knit fingering weight, so the habitation throw is in fingering weight. Yeah, and then all my lovely skeins. 
this lovely skein I got from Roel. She uh, is a friend from Manchester. So uh, this one I bought in Sweden at a local yarn shop. I still don't know what to do with it, the dark red, but I think I make a um, hat once, yeah, sooner or later. Uh, this one fell off. I bought it at the Omoedag. It's hand dyed with plant based uh, uh, dye from Janne Maagd. She's always at the Omoedag. And here are uh, different skeins I, uh, yeah, for in the future. Oh, and this one is really cool. I, um, this is a really expensive yarn. I bought it at Liberty's. Normally it costs. What is it? Does it say twenty six fifty? But it was in the sale for three euros, and it is daughter of a shepherd. Uh, later, I went to Loop London, and they sell the same for the full price. So that was a, a lucky, a lucky skein. But I don't know what I will make with it. It's hundred percent wool, I think. Um, oh yeah. 75% hybridian and 25% sword bless. I think that is the kind of sheep. So yeah, it, it was more like I love it. It's three pounds. Of course I buy it. <laughs> so these are all my cards and uh, yesterday a lot fell off. Shit. Sorry. Loop. This kind of cards I always like to, to take huh? if uh, or you, you order a bag and you get a card with it. Super nice. And this is my uh, other yarn, mostly sock yarn stash. I bought the, another uh, square that's a I Ikea square and uh, that one I bought at the flea market at King's Day for two euros. So uh, normally I bought one new one, it was 25, then I bought a uh, one in the thrift shop for 5 euros and that one was 2 euros. So I'm building up my uh, little shop for me, my own little shop, <laughs> shop in my house. And all the, yeah, the lovely things I got. This is a new London mug, this is a London mug, this is broken, a little piece, so, yeah, but I can't throw it away. <laughs> So that is uh, what I'm doing on this Friday morning. So I'm sitting at the bus stop here in my street. I'm going to my sister to the birthday of my nephew. And I can't film here because it's really loud. <laughs> Sorry. This is the city of Hengelo and there was a, how do you call it in English, Kermis and I uh, don't like it <laughs> so I have to go to the shops uh, quick and then uh, leave this busyness. Hello, I am uh, here with my nephew on his birthday and he's going to introduce himself. Hello, I am Rowan and um, I'm here with uh, yeah, my uh, um, how do you say that again? Aunt. Aunt. I miss aunt. I'm here with my aunt <laughs> and um, yeah, it's my birthday today and uh, my cat is running, running around here, and uh, he's uh, she. She is, um, I think, eight. Uh, I, we have we have this cat eight months here, and um, the cat is one year old, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's it. But yeah, I'm um, yeah. And uh, how old uh, did you get? Uh, I'm thirteen. 
and we're gonna eat cake uh, in a few minutes and yeah it's gonna be delicious oh super no thank you Rowan. thank you no problem <laughs> yeah. Yay, yippie! Ja. This is all the nice lekker die we krijgen. Good evening. Um, in the meantime, it is Friday evening around uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, and I realized that I'm alone at home. My two boys and uh, they are both not sleeping at home tonight. And tomorrow they're also not home. So uh, I am... In uh, yeah, that's a lot. I can't remember the last time I was twenty four hours alone, but it, I have my cat, so uh, not really alone, of course. I'm knitting on the stripometry shawl section two. I made a good progress, and I hope I will knit on a few rows, and I hope to finish the section two tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have the whole day for me and knitting, so that's really go good. And um, yeah, that is what I'm doing. Uh, I have the home to myself, the time on my side, and yeah, I love to knit. So that is what I'm doing. I see you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, it is Saturday uh, around 10 o'clock. It's 4 May. I am uh, have a very slow morning. I love it. My children are both, uh, yeah, they slept uh, not at home. So I have a really, I had a really quiet night, knitted a lot, and um, now I have a really, really slow morning. I woke up with the third day of migraine, so that's not nice. But yeah, I uh, think it. Yeah, I have it. I I have always once in eight weeks or so. I have a few days. Severe migraine, so that is what I uh, I'm in now. I have uh, muscle, uh, yeah, like migraine pills, and they work for a few hours. So I took one one hour ago, and now it's uh, working. So when I finish this square, I will uh, yeah get up, and I am going to for a walk because it's a few days ago that I did that. And it's now all nice and green in the, in the neighborhood, of course, in uh, through spring. It's a sunny day today. I think it's about 18 degrees. Yesterday it was rain. Today it's uh, nice and uh, and sunny. And uh, yeah, this afternoon I'm going to uh, yeah do a little bit household and knit knit a bit a lot. Always trying to do always a lot. <laughs> and. Uh, Tonight I'm going to my boyfriend's house. I don't know if I sleep there. Maybe I will do that. But I don't know that yet. So, um, yeah, that is my uh, start of my Saturday. And I love the... I take it slow. And uh, my youngest child is at work. And my oldest is... Uh, yeah, they... Uh, and his girlfriend are uh, yeah, a day to family fr from her in an other part of the country. So uh, I will be alone the whole day. My cats are here. Pookie is sleeping above. She is always uh, sleeping during the day most of the time. And Sarge is uh, here downstairs. She's, uh, yeah, she's in the garden now. In my garden, she always wants to sit in the garden when it's sunny and warm. So uh, that is what I'm doing now, and I see you later on the day. So I thought I would wash my weekender sweater from Andrea Maori, the red one, with uh, hand wash. And now it can lay uh, flat and dry in the sun. That's uh, what I'm always doing in the summer. Hello, here is Ivana again. I, in the meantime, I sit on my table and I want to make a project bag from this lovely fabric. I bought it at the thrift shop a while ago. It's not a big piece because it was a cushion cover from a little children's play uh, thing. Um, I torn, yeah, I, I torn it with this knife 
apart and uh, yeah this so it won't be a big bag but for me it's big enough and i will use this lovely liberty fabric for the drawstring and i have a brown for the filling for the lining and i will make it um, steadier of how do you say it with uh flisseline infusible so how do you say it? so that is what i'm uh, going to do this is the, then the combination and i found a, a very clear tutorial on youtube how th that you uh, make the drawstring already uh, you sew it already on the bag before you um yeah you, you sew it together so that the drawstring is sitting uh, perfect and um, straight that is what i want so that's what i'm doing and um, I have to wait on the postman, so uh, that's the reason I could not go for a walk yet. And uh, yeah, I see you later. So uh, my bag is ready. I choose to do another fabric for the drawstring. This is also a nice red flowery mini flowers from the thrift shop. These fabrics are all from the thrift shop. Um, I did the the yeah. I suit the drawstring um, yeah, before so that, n that it's not going to slip away when you uh, sew the bags together so that that worked out fine this is the lining it's an old cushion cover I normally I choose not the, the nicest uh, fabrics for linings because it's on the inside and yeah I never really watched there to that I put on, uh, I put three balls of yarn in it. So a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. It w I used all the fabric, the brown, so I don't uh, have anything left. But it's a really, it cannot stand on itself because it's uh, with, yeah, with fleeceline inside. So it's a little bit uh, floppy. And the fabric was really old and that was also uh, really soft. This is, in this fabric there is a, uh, yeah, you can see that this is not being used before. It's a little bit stiffer. But I'm really happy with it. And um, I liked uh, the way to make the drawstring, um, to sew the drawstring um, in front on the uh, on this panel. And then it will, yeah, it sits, uh, it's, it's uh, neater. You see, super nice. So, uh, another, uh, yeah, I like a dodgy bag, project bag made, where well, I put a plastic um, tape on it to um, get it through the, through the drawstring, and now I can uh, take it off, because otherwise the needle is going to, this is a, yeah, split, and it splits uh, really fast it's a cheaper drawstring cord but when you um, yeah make a nut you will uh, it's okay so that that's the reason why there's still plastic on and now i'm going to knit on a sock and uh, yeah take it slow because my migraine's not away yet unfortunately see you later Here we uh, are visiting my mom's grave uh, in the cemetery. It's always super nice to be there, in the f especially in the spring. It looks so nice, the f trees and all the, yeah, the flowers. This was on the 5th of May and that was my mother's birthday. Hello, good afternoon it is uh, in the meantime it is sunday around four o'clock um it is five the fifth of may it's uh do you call that english liberty day in the netherlands i think it is this was also the day that my mother was was uh, had her birthday fifth may but my mother passed away four and a half years ago so yeah so I was, um, yesterday I went to my boyfriend's house, I uh, slept there and we had a chill Saturday and 
after that I went to my father's house to uh, go together to the cemetery from my mother. If you see uh, the, I have filmed there a little bit of the nice uh, yeah garden. It's a really nice park. So uh, if it's good, you has had already seen that. And now I'm knitting on my cozy comfort throw, and I'm using all my minis. I'm now I marl two colors together, and these minis I already did squares from the hand dyed yarns, and I'm going to use the rest in this blanket. And what's left over, I'm going to use in other blankets or maybe for scrappy socks because I like the colors. So that is what I'm doing on this Sunday, and I'll see you later. Good evening again, here is Ivana. Um, I had an accidentally <laughs> new cast on. I was knitting on my blanket and uh, yeah, I was thinking of this the whole week. Should I do a scrappy sock also from the nice balls I choose for my cozy memories blanket every day? I choose a mini and I do a knit a square and uh, yeah, so I felt like casting on a scrappy sock, so that's what I did. I do it on 2.25 millimeter needles. I would do six rounds, 12 rounds on the cuff, six rounds per color. And now I made a start, and now can I can knit every day six rounds, and that's uh, that is nice. I think the slow pro progress of this of this sock, and it's living in my super nice uh, basket. I ordered. Yeah, F last year I think at Cross and Woods it in the Netherlands uh, uh, online they are very far away from me, so yeah I couldn't resist to cast on this and uh, I love it and now I'm going to knit on my blanket again, so uh, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Here I'm uh, at the local thrift shop and I saw everything. That box I brought myself to the thrift shop and that cup. These are lovely pants not there. The, these are just lovely to see. Vintage old. That one I brought also to the thrift shop. And that one also. And uh, here I'm drinking coffee in the coffee corner. And uh, what's in the basket that is what I bought. Except the lump there and the rest I took with me. Good evening. It is Monday evening, 6 May. I was um, busy, busy, busy today. I did a deep clean on my in my bedroom and I sorted things out. Oh yeah, I sorted all my project bags out. And uh, maybe I will show that later. But now I'm just sitting on my couch. This lovely mug I found in the thrift shop. I love it a lot, but I... This is for my sister. It's more like my sister's print. The 75 cents. Uh, if you've seen the, the footage before, you see that I walk in a thrift shop and I film some things that that belong to me that I've uh, brought a few weeks ago. And now uh, I saw all the things coming back in my in the shop. So that was funny. I drank a coffee there, and afterwards I uh, had to do groceries. And I'm knitting on my second sock, and that's what I'm doing the, uh, the, uh, this hour. And then I'm going to uh, clean my bedding, and then I will show you the project bags sort out. See you, uh, see you later. This uh, lovely tin I found at the thrift shop, it's a really old, I think it was a cigar box. I read it somewhere, I don't know where, it, where I saw it. But yeah, I love it a lot. It's really, really old and used, and I, that's what I like. So that one I found, and I found these two lovely little tins. Always uh, love these little ones. And that lovely mirror. I have to clean it, but um, with that lovely, uh, yeah, it looks vintage. I don't know if it's really vintage, but I thought, yes, that's a nice... Uh, a nice mirror. So yeah, that's what I found today. So hello, look my window in my... Um, this is my view when I tape podcast. 
and I um, put my camera on here yeah a little bit lower this is my uh, um, record tower <laughs> here are all my project bags I sorted them out some bags had all the leftovers from scrappies from um, swap so uh, put it in here now so I can see what I've got that's not the only scraps I've got I've got more but sometimes you yeah you know oh yeah, in this box uh, are some scraps and in that bag in this lovely bag my uh, shawl my gala shawl lives there in there and uh, I uh, I don't feel like knitting on it on this moment because it's in autumn color so I will pick that up in September I think there's my my sweater I started did not knit on it yet again this is my uh, crochet uh, baggie with all the cotton sometimes I like to make the purses this one is empty but I love the fabric so I thought I would leave it here because otherwise I forget it maybe and here is a sweater I don't know if I'm going to knit on it this is my cozy memories blanket in this lovely bag there lives some yarn what I want to use uh, for a cow shawl once in the future and this lovely fabric I bought in London at the thrift shop so that's really uh, yeah nice and it gives me always a nice uh, memory and in this big bag Della Q bag I have all my leftovers from the socks and some things I got from a viewer so here's all the bigger leftovers and there are the little leftovers my Christmas bag in this bag these two bags I have all my alpaca stash drops of alpaca because I love that yarn and I have a lot of it oh yeah this is my uh, my lovely cozy memories toss bag <coughs> so uh, this one I use uh, when I'm going on a knitting trip knitting day yeah and in that closet are all all the project bags and I <coughs> Sorted my shawls out. You see, they're a plastic uh, IKEA bag, and I put all my shawls in. And I got one out because it's a summer shawl, but that one's now um, in the in the wash machine. There are my chickens. Uh, there are some Cindy's in the window. Yeah, and there are a few project bags. And here are the bags with the grannies that I have to make. So that is uh, what I did today. My bed's cleaned. Um, everything I cleaned, I uh, vacuumed the whole room. And uh, this is my, uh, yeah, where I do my makeup in the morning. And this is my bedside table. And there are all the things you need. Uh, yeah. Needles, scissors, makeup, lens, lens things. Clean, yeah, cleaning lotions for your eyes, brush. In the in that little cupboard there on my, um, how do you say that? Your fern, hair. So not hair blow, blow dry for your hair, yeah. In that cupboard is all oh, yeah little nail polishes and that kind of things. So. Uh, this is my Blythe toilet bag. I bought it once. It's a little bit dusty. I bought it once in Thailand when I was there. Oh, I loved it a lot. And I still kept it. It's, all, it's almost, I think, 2006. Oh, it's almost 20 years ago. I still have it. I have uh, also a Blythe bag. So, yeah, that's what I did. I cleaned it up and... Uh, this, this part piece I have to do, I didn't do that today. But yeah, it's always, so you have always to, uh, yeah, do it weekly. Weekly and uh, sort it out and looking what you've got. And, and uh, super nice. And here's my, uh, yeah, my chair from the uh, beautician, beautician chair. Don't use it anymore. So I'm thinking about 
selling it. But yeah, we'll see that. So um, that is what I'm doing uh, on this Monday. And uh, now I'm really going to sit again and knit. And I'm see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, 7 May. I just woke up. Uh, one of the viewers was asking me. I'm uh, starting uh, with knitting. And... Um, I have knitted already some socks, but can you tell me what is, yeah, how can you see that it's a sock yarn? So she says, I own, only buy balls uh, with this, like a sock on it. Um, but sometimes on this one, it, there's no sock. You don't know if, if that's a sock yarn or not. So I'm going to explain. Maybe you already know, but yeah, I thought it would be nice. You can uh, see it um, if you look at the ingredients that this is 75% sure wool, yeah, and 25% polyamide, and polyamide is uh, it's uh, yeah sort of uh, plastic I think, and it keeps the sock. Um, strong that you don't have uh, holes in it after t one or two times wearing it and i saw that some uh, yarns don't have polyamide but they have nylon in it and i googled it uh, just a few minutes ago nylon is um, stronger than polyamide but nylon can um, yeah, lose its form when it gets gets too hot, so when you put your socks in the wash machine, normally on a wool wash program, um, yeah, then then it's better to have poly polyester. But I personally think that the sock yarn with nylon is softer. For me, it is. Yeah, it says on in. I th think it says on internet nylon is fluffier or it's a little bit. Yeah, in the Netherlands we say luchtiger. So I didn't pay attention on it before. And now I know the difference. So when I'm going to buy new sock yarn, maybe I will rather buy nylon than polyamide. But yeah, when you like a ball, you will buy it anyway. And here in this ball is, uh, all, is from West Yorkshire Spinners. There is 35%. Blue face Lester. I think some balls are, yeah, lovelier sock yarn than the others. Some sock yarn is very thin. This one is all also very nice. I had one in yellow, and this is a Landlust die Sockenwolle from Lana Grossa. That's a really nice brand for sock yarn. And this one has. Um, 80% sure wool and 20% polyamide and um, yeah a sock yarn is always for normal socks what you will wear in your shoes it's four ply <coughs> and normally it contains 420 meters so that is one of the things then you have uh, yeah so, so like this is a uh, hand dyed sock yarn and this one has also nylon in it yes 25 percent nylon and you have sometimes balls from 50 50 grams and that's not enough for one pair of socks so you have to buy two or you can use it for heels toes and cuffs this one's also a really nice yarn also from lana grossa it is 80 percent wool and 20% polyamide. I think this is a lovely yarn to knit with. These little balls for, from 50 gram and this is uh, like Regia. Here is a sock on. So this is yeah this is a sock yarn. You can see it on, on this sock thing and this is for, to, from Arna and Carlos. And then you have also the 8-ply sock yarn that is like this. Oh no, sorry, this is the 6-ply. 
step 6 uh, yeah and this is you have to knit these on bigger needles 3 to 4 a normal sock yarn you usually do on 2 to 3 millimeter needles 2 and a half to 2.25 it's what you like and this bigger sock yarn you have to use a bigger needle and you have to cast on uh, less stitches because otherwise um, your socks get too big <coughs> and this is 25% uh, polyamide so that is a little bit about the sock yarn maybe you know already because you knit socks uh, for a long time some sometimes I think oh everybody does know that but when I was starting knitting socks I didn't know that also I uh, I learned along the way so that is uh, was a nice question from uh, from the viewer and uh, yeah I'm going to get another cup of coffee and knit a, a little bit and see you later so and I did my square for today this is a hand dyed yarn and uh, now I'm going out of bed and I'm going to uh, go for a walk Good morning, uh, there is Ivana. She's uh, walking, finally walking. It's really uh, green. Yeah, two weeks ago it was not so. That is always when it's May in the Netherlands. And uh, it's really the start of uh, spring, I think. April can be so uh, cold sometimes, and it was this year also. So it's uh, 18 degrees. It's going to be 18 degrees today. And look how lovely green everything is. So we go for a walk. Look at this green. Look at this lovely green. And that's, l that's looking like a spot where you walk into paradise. 13 degrees already. It's going to be 18, 19 today, so it's perfect uh, temperature and it feels great. I love it. Look at the grass, how high it is. Super nice. So I want to tell you about my uh, medicine for my back pain. I can't uh, take them anymore because I think I'm allergic for all medicine. Always when I take medicine I'm uh, nearly dying. It was so severe last week. I was feeling so bad and my heart like it was shrinking together. I couldn't walk for five steps. So I decided to not take medicine anymore. I have it before with a pill and so forth. So uh, now I feel myself again with the pain but then I can uh, feel my boundaries also better. And I know that this uh, thing I have in my back, it will not go away because I have it almost 10 years already. So I have to choose what I want to do and what I, yeah. Always when I do too much, the doctor says, then you get the pain. So I have to, yeah, how do you say that? Yeah, search for the balance. So that is what I'm doing. And um, on this moment I feel a lot better than last week and look how pretty it is here I love it this is such a nice feeling I love I love the springtime especially in the month of May so we're enjoying that here I am again I have a coffee and I'm knitting on my scrappy sock with all hand dyed yarns I have 10 uh, minis from a row one mini. I bought it once last year, so I will use these also for my uh, scrappy sock. So that is what I'm doing. Super nice yarn. I love it. And um, yeah, I'm going to knit the leg, I think 19 centimeters longer than I'm used to because I love to do all the colors and I have enough 
And I yarn leftovers. Uh, I'm drinking coffee and this is my birdie. Here lives my yarn in, in this lovely basket. And here lives the sock in when I'm not knitting on it. This, this, is, my, this is my first uh, ever bought bag from Birdie and Puppet. She makes the most beautiful bags and she lives in uh, the UK, Nottingham. So this uh, little yeah project bag I use a lot. And I have coffee, so I'll see you later. Sanja jumped on the wall. She was sitting on the table and I thought she's she thought I will climb on that wall. But she didn't do it through the table, but she cl climbed up the wall and made it up there. Super super nice. Morning. It is Wednesday, 8 May. I am knitting on my sock this morning. I want to do, yeah, I have to do the gusset, so that's nice. Instead of a square, I do my sock. Um, my cat Pookie is lying on her clean bed, and I am uh, there are my chickens, <laughs> and I am going to, uh, yeah, knit on a sock for a while for a while and then uh, we'll see what we do and I'll see you later. Good morning, it is uh, Wednesday 8 May. Um, I'm I was up early today, 10 minutes to 7, I knitted all my purple sock, I did the gusset, I um, knitted the gusset, and now after that I went to the shops already, walking, because my bike isn't still uh, ready, unfortunately, so I did some groceries, and um, I want to uh, stay at home this uh, day, because we, uh, the boys, my boys uh, have some packages on the way and I want to knit a lot and I have already bought some uh, yeah, things for food for today and tomorrow but I chose healthy things so uh, like an apple and um, r yeah, rice crackers with um, Nah, with good things, so uh, that I don't, when I have hungry, that I don't uh, eat too much, too much sugar. That's what I don't want anymore. So I'm trying to, uh, to do that uh, as good as I can. Uh, this Cindy is lovely. She, uh, I want to put her, her this dress on. My mother knitted once, and I uh, thought, yeah, this dress deserves a lovely Cindy. So that's what I'm going to change, and this hat. My mother also made, and then uh, with this uh, this shot, I uh, sh close this weekly vlog. Um, thank you for watching again. If you really like this, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, this will be up on YouTube tomorrow um, in the morning. Himmelfaarts dag, and I want to uh, knit a lot these coming days. So uh, next week I will see you back with a knitting podcast and now it's the knitting vlog <laughs> thank you for watching